flyers, but they're also incredibly good on the ground. Uh, and this is a really rare trait for a bat species, to be able to walk on the ground, even hop and run. Uh, and this provides a really nice way for the bats to avoid getting squashed or getting captured uh, by the animals that they're trying to feed on. So you can see a really stealthy stalking up to the animal as well as hopping around. Um, and while the bat's doing that, part of what it may be doing is finding the right place to bite. Uh, so it can either hop up to the animal or it can fly directly on the animal landing. Uh, often in the case of a cow, it'll land on the back. The bat will then use some infrared sensors basically try and find the part of the animal where the blood is flowing most close to the skin. And that's the site that it'll use uh, to make that initial bite wound and then lap up the blood. Uh, cows obviously feel the bat landing and like try to even get, get the bat off of them, but eventually the cow gives up and the bats are, are able to return to the spot where they wanted to feed. At least it's not bothered enough that it continues to struggle against the bat. There is something a little bit creepy about a mammal that lives exclusively on blood, uh, and the, a lot of the 